So in this video I'm going to show you how to get rid of this disgusting grime at the bottom of lab glass bottles. I've been plagued with this problem for a few years. Uh, this is acetaminophen which if you store in a bottle as a solution turns this dark crusty brown. Uh, soap doesn't work, bleach doesn't work, hydrogen peroxide doesn't help, uh, but I found a way to get rid of this stuff quite nicely. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get a hold of a bunch of BBs. So uh, BBs are readily available uh, on, oops, from the hardware store or Amazon. Uh, they're really cheap. They're uh, maybe a thousand BBs you can pick up for uh, less than ten dollars sometimes. Uh, and you want to load the BBs into the bottle. So here we go. Okay, so then uh, it's quite simple. You just add some detergent, a few drops, and get some warm water in. There we go. Some of the BBs fell in the sink. Don't want that to clog up the sink. Get some warm water and fill it about a quarter of the way full, or a third. There we go. So these BBs are going to do the hard work for us. I need to swirl them around. You can see already, if you look closely, that the brown stain is starting to go away. nice to recover these bottles because they're expensive and it's a shame to not be able to use them because they're all stained and gross. There we go. There, and that's about it. It looks looking pretty clean to me. And now, I'm actually just going to pour this in the next bottle to be clean. Or you could pour it back into the sieve and recover the BBs. And then finally, rinse out the bottle. Get rid of the soap. There we go. Now, have a look at that. Clean and gorgeous and ready to be reused. So these glass media bottles are really difficult to clean and uh, the brush is just not going to do the job like that. And so I highly recommend using BBs, which happen to be uh, a hobby of mine, shooting BB guns. Uh, and now I've found a use for all of these leftover BBs. And there they are. All right, I hope this helps somebody.